Okay, so this video we're going to look at present value for simple interest. Alright, so, well, first let's talk about simple interest. You've heard simple interest, compound interest. Uh, simple interest is typically for uh, loans or uh, putting money into a savings account. For That's usually for periods of time of less than a year. Compound interest is typically for times more than a year. Okay. So present value for simple interest, it says the present value P of a future amount of A dollars at a simple interest rate R for T years is P equals A over 1 plus RT. Alright, so, so what exactly is present value? Okay, so here's a good, here's a good example. So let's suppose uh, I don't know in 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 one year, okay, or let's say in nine months, you need uh, you need four hundred dollars in nine months. Well, you can go you go to a open a savings account or something. So the present value, and you know, in that savings account, you'll get interest and all that. So what the present value does, it says, okay. Well, how much do I need to put in that account today, right now, to have the four hundred dollars in nine months? Okay. Now, if you re if you watched my other video, or if you remember, A equals P times one plus R T. That was the future value or maturity value. Well, look at this. If you divide it by one plus R T you get P is equal to A over 1 plus RT. And you can see there's your present value. Okay, That's all you're doing is solving for that amount. Okay, Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the example. We've got three examples. One of them is a pretty good word problem we're going to work. So you may want to hang around for that one. Uh, so let's look at this. It says Find the present value, $48,000 for eight months, money earns 5%. So let's just go ahead and write our formula down. P equals A over 1 plus RT. So now we need to know what A is, 1, I'm sorry, A, R, and T. So A, that's the 48,000. They're wanting us to find the present value, so they're giving us the, the future value. So A is equal to the 48,000. Okay, R, that's the interest rate, the 5%, and we will convert it to a decimal. And then T, that's the time. So that's going to be 8 over 12. Remember the time, the 8 months. Remember in the formula it says T years so t has to be in years that's why we do the 8 over 12 all right so now let's plug all this in so i get p is equal to a which is 48000 over 1 plus and that's going to be r is 0 0.05 times t 8 over 12 Okay, so now we gotta plug this into our calculator. So I don't let's let's go ahead and plug the bottom one in first. This will be the easiest. I think this is probably the easiest way to do it. So I'm gonna tell you how to plug it in. Do the 0 0.05 times 8, 0 0.05 times 8, hit equals. That should, that gives you 0.4. Divide that by 12, by this 12 here, and hit equals. That gives you 0 0.0 and then a bunch of threes and then add one to it so plus one so that gives you 1.0 and then repeating threes okay so don't 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 touch your calculator okay you should have the 1.0 and then all those threes on the screen so now without hitting anything just type in 48,000 48,000 divided by okay so what was the last answer that we had on the screen? That was 1.0 and then all those threes. So there's, there's a button on your, 
well there's a button on your calculator and above that button is ANS but what that does is it recalls the last answer you had and you're probably going to have to hit your second or your shift key to get to it so you typed in 48,000 divided by now hit your second and then do the ANS that recall recalls that 1.0333 but it'll show up on the screen as ANS some calculators it might throw the number up there but the one I have it shows ANS and then hit enter and that gives you the present value P is forty six thousand four hundred and fifty one dollars and sixty one cents we'll round it to two decimal places Okay. All right, so let's look at another one. All right, so we've got $15,402 for 120 days. Money earns 6.3%. So we have P is equal to A over 1 plus RT. So let's go ahead and get our values. So A is 15,402. R is 0 0.063 and T that's 120 days so that's going to be 120 over and how many days are in a year 365 okay alright so now let's plug everything into the formula so P is equal to A which is 15,402 over and then 1 plus 0 0.063 that's R times T which is 120 over 365. Okay, and so we get P is equal to, all right, so let's go through the calculator again real quick. We've got 0 0.063 times 120 equals divided by 365 equals plus 1 equals, all right, then so, so you should have right now 1.02071232.9. Now just type in 15,402 divided by and then recall that last answer. And that should give you $15,089.46. And there's your answer. Okay. All right, so now let's look at the last problem. Okay. All right, so it says a firm of accountants has ordered seven new computers at a cost of $5,104 each. The machines will not be delivered for seven months. What amount could the firm deposit in, a, in an account paying 6.42% to have enough money to pay for the machines? Okay, so in seven months, they're going to get the computers. And evidently, they don't have to pay until the computers come in. So they want to know how much can they put in that savings account right now to have the five, well, not the 5,104, but the total amount, which would be what? Seven times that. So how much do they have to put in there today? And that's present value. All right. So let's see. Let's, let's write our formula down. So we have P is equal to A over 1 plus RT. All right, so now I need A. Well, that's equal to 7 times 5,104. Okay, because there's 7 computers and they're 5,104 each. So that's a total of $35,728. That's the total amount we need. Okay, so the interest rate R is 6.42, so that's 0 0.0642, that's R. T, well that's seven months, but we have to write it in years, so that's the seven over 12. All right, so now we have everything. So let's plug it in. So I have P is equal to A, 35,728, over 1 plus R, which is 0 0.0642, times T, the 7 over 12. And so P is equal to, okay, so let's well, pause it and see if you can punch it into the calculator and get the right answer. 
and then once you get the answer play it all right so we've got 0 0.0642 times 7 equals divided by 12 equals plus 1 equals and then we've got 35,728 divided by and recall the answer so that's going to be $34,438.29 and there's the there's your answer all right so hopefully this helped check out the other videos uh, I've got a lot more on my channel give me a subscribe like share and thanks for watching